What's up guys, welcome back to Food Connection. If you're new, remember to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, share these recipe with family and friends. Guys, today I got a brand new recipe for you, something very simple. If you like Philly cheese steak, you're gonna love this. Today I'm gonna be making Philly cheese steak with salmon. So I'm gonna be making a salmon Philly cheese steak. On my board, I got two pieces of salmon. They're washed, they're clean. I got the skin on them. I like the skin. I got some green peppers, onion, pavlon cheese. I got my sub. I got me some fish, Maggie seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning, fish or seafood seasoning you have. I have me some salt and pepper. Let's cook. All right, guys, so first up, we're gonna season our salmon. So I'm just gonna go in with some salt. And guys, remember, all of my measurement will be in my description box down below. Next up, some pepper. And guys, I'm gonna use my seafood seasoning or fish seasoning. And guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna rub this very well, flip it over, repeat the process. All right guys, so now that I have my salmon nice and seasoned up, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna move on to the next step. So guys, I got a heated pan on top of my stove. And guys, I'm gonna use coconut oil, okay? You can use olive oil or you can use vegetable oil. All right guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna let this melt. And guys, I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of coconut oil. All right guys, so now that my oil is heated, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my pepper and my onions. And guys, we're just gonna saute these for a few minutes. Guys, so as you can see, my onion and my bell pepper is a little bit loose and it depends on how you like. If you like a little bit of crunch. And guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna give this about another minute and then I'm going to remove them. And then I'm gonna move on to the next step. Went ahead and I removed my onion and pepper. So next up, I'm going to add my salmon and I'm gonna go down. And guys, I might just do one piece of salmon, guys, because I'm going to shred this, okay? And it's gonna be a lot. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna let this cook for about four minutes and then we're gonna flip this over to the other side. Went ahead and poured some of my oil off. You don't want it to be too greasy because you don't want this to mess up your sandwich, okay guys? So if you have too much in it, go ahead and pour some of that grease off and I'm gonna let my fish finish getting a nice crust. Then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna show you the next step. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and just flip my salmon over. And guys, once you flip your salmon over, you're just gonna let it cook for another four minutes and I'll show you the next step. Let's move on to the next process, okay? So what you're gonna do, guys, you're just gonna pull your salmon apart, okay? Guys, what you're gonna do, you're just gonna let this cook for about two to three minutes. Guys, do not overcook your salmon. Salmon is really easy to cook. So next up, I'm going to add my pepper and my onion back to it. And guys, while I'm doing this, as you can see, I'm getting my bun nice and toasted, guys, okay? So all you gotta do, just open up your sandwich bun. And once you open up your sandwich bun, guys, go ahead, butter your pan, let it toast for about two minutes, flip it over, and it be ready, all right? All right, guys, so next up, what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna add my cheese to it. And guys, you can add as much as cheese that you would like. I'm just gonna do four slices, okay? And the trick to this, guys, you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna cover this. You can turn your stove off, it would melt perfectly fine while I get my buns ready. And I'm gonna plate up this sandwich and show you guys what I'm working with. All right guys, so as you can see, I have my bun nice and toasted. And guys, I'm gonna go in with the vegan mayo, okay guys? You can go ahead and give this a nice try, or you can just use whatever mayo you have, okay? Next up, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add Ooh. 
my onion, peppers, and salmon to my bread. Guys, I promise you, this will be the best filling you will ever taste in your life. This right here is the final product. And guys, remember, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, share with family and friends. And guys, remember to give these video a thumbs up. All right? I will catch you on my next video. Peace.